The story goes, an old couple, a pair of riders, built a little house away from town, Bram said to his two young daughters. Their driveway was a mile long, and the only road to it was the only road back to town. When the town grew and made their driveway a city street, the old couple demanded they get to name the roads, Soliloquy and Cellar Door. They liked the sound of those words, but they didn't really want to be a part of the town. So the old man sailed him and his wife up in the house, in a living tomb. The girl's eyes went wide and one asked, Wouldn't they die? Bram sneered as he spoke. They were never seen again. Though if you go to the house, they say you can hear them knocking from inside. As they listened, he moved his arm to the table next to him and rapped on it firmly. The girls jumped, and Bram's friends sitting in the living room with them laughed. The girls giggled in return. Don't worry too much, girls, Craig chimed in. When they named the street cellar door, the husband thought it would be funny to hide the doors of the house. Bram shook his head and looked at his girls. That's what chickens say, so they won't be scared. That's funny, Sean mocked. Don't start, Bram moaned. Sean leaned forward to catch Bram's daughter's attention. He pointed his thumb at Bram. Your dad is the one who very first told me that line. The girls giggled at their dad while he shot withering glares at his two old friends. Come on, girls. That'll be enough. Ah, the sun is still up, one of them whined. It's still eight o'clock, and that's still bedtime, Bram countered. They reluctantly marched to their shared room as their father followed to tuck them in. Bram came back into the living room a few minutes later, carrying a new round of beers. He handed one to Craig, then started to hand one to Sean, but pulled back as Sean almost grabbed it. Fuck you, buddy. I'm not going to hear the end of that for a week. Sean laughed. Hey, you're the one trying to terrify your girls before bedtime. They asked, and I tried to give the closest thing to the truth, Bram shrugged. He handed the beer to Sean, then sat back down. Craig took a long drink and then said, There is no closest thing to the truth.